Alright guys, in today's lesson we are going to find the volume of pyramids and cones still continue, continuing on with target 3. To find the volume of a pyramid, we have to take the area of the base, multiply it by the height of the figure, and then divide it by 3. So in this specific case, we are dealing with a square base pyramid. Square being the shape of the base. So our unknowns, we make a list, we have our a sub b, which I know is s squared by, by the formula to find the area of a square, and then our height of the figure, in this case the pyramid. So the shape of the base is a square where all the lengths of the sides are the same, which is 20. So I'm going to quickly figure out what the area of the base is, so 20 squared ends up being 400 millimeters squared. Now the height of the pyramid is a little bit different, or a little trickier than just given looking at the 30. The 30 is actually our slant height. So in order to find the height, we have to draw our imaginary height and a connection from the point where the height connects to the base to the edge actually makes a right triangle with the slant height. So that little part right there would be half of one of the side lengths of 20, which is 10 and we don't know what our height is. So we're going to have to use the Pythagorean Theorem to figure out what our height is going to be. So instead of H, we're going to use B for our missing side length. And so finally, after I plug everything in and simplify 10 squared and 30 squared, I multiply both, I'm sorry, I subtract both sides by 100. So I'm with, left with B squared equals 800. And so since I'm not done, that's not just the variable all by itself, I need B to undo a square, I need to take the square root of both sides. My B, which is the same thing as my height, is 28.28 millimeters. So then I know my height is 28.28 millimeters, so all of my unknowns are done. I know what they are. So now, since I figured out what my A sub B is, or my area of the base, or the height, I can figure out what the volume of my figure is going to be. If I substitute in 428.28, simplify the numerator, I'm going to get 1,000 or 11,312 over 3, which ends up being 3,770.67 millimeters cubed. Okay, our next formula is the volume of a cone formula. The volume of a cone is the product of the area of the base and the height of the solid divided by 3. So, um, area of the base, well, the base of our cone is a circle, so you can imagine that our volume formula will have the area of a circle in it, which is the pi r squared times the height and then divided by 3. So your volume formula is pi r squared h divided by 3. So let's look at this specific example. We have an oblique cone. And for the oblique cone, we are going to do this problem no differently than if we had a right cone, and I'll explain the difference a little bit later. First, always make a list of our unknown variables. So volumes unknown, radius, and height. Let's see what is given to us. We don't know volume, but we are given the height, or the radius, I'm sorry. The radius is 4.5 feet, and we are given the height. Now the height of any figure is the distance between this vertex and the base. So in this solid, um, since the vertex of the solid is a little bit slanted, that doesn't necessarily throw off our height. Where I drew in that dotted line, that is the same thing as the height. Now normally when we talk about cones we worry about the slant height, but not in this case. We're doing the exact perpendicular distance from the base to the vertex for this solid. So the height of this solid is 12. So now we can plug in everything that we're given. Volume is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height divided by 3. So 4.5 squared is 20.25 times 12 divided by 3. I'm going to continue below the line here. 20.25 times 12 is 243. Don't forget the pi divided by 3. Now I'm going to divide 245 by 3 to get 81. Keep the pi up top there. 
And that would be our exact answer, and our approximate answer is 254.47 feet cubed. And you are all done. And that is all, guys. Time sure does fly when you're having fun doing math. So um, tune in next time for part C of our volume series, which will be volume of spheres and composite figures.